call it spring like everything is new I usually don't include intros, but I thought it would make a little more sense if I put one in for this one. I don't know why. It probably is just going to make this ten times more awkward, and I don't know if you're going to want to watch past this, but yeah. Okay, let's continue. Hi everyone, it's Jennifer, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for the 2019-2020 school year concerning stationery. Um, a lot of the items in this video are not the typical items that you see in school supplies videos. So not the binders and notebooks, but more so things that I just picked up because I didn't really have any of them and I thought they were interesting or like steals or something. As you can see, I kind of went crazy on a couple of these items. So yeah, enjoy my stationary addiction. <laughs> I will try to justify myself throughout this video, but Y'all just know that I'm a little bit crazy about this, so yeah. Okay, so we're starting off with the racers, and you might not think this is anything special, but when I walked into Daiso and saw that they had like four different types of erasers, and by erasers I mean like good quality brand erasers for only a dollar fifty cents. I kind of just like snatched them all up and straight up spent like six dollars just on the erasers themselves. So that's great. Anyway, the first eraser is a Tombow Mono One rollable eraser, and I really like it because it's small and compact and kind of in the shape of a pen so it's easier to use and store in my pencil case. Wow, what do you know? Another Tombow Mono One eraser! Except this one is the regular eraser shape. Only they come with too many ones for $1.50 at Daiso, which is a good deal compared to the fact that most of the regular sized ones are 3 bucks. So I feel like you're kind of getting more eraser by buying it at Daiso, and it's still the same quality and even more compact. Next are the Sakura Arch Foam Erasers. And I really like the fact that these erasers are softer than the mono ones, but are still really high quality. And the, um, the cover has like perforated lines so that as your eraser gets smaller, you can peel off the cover and still have it with the eraser. Okay, okay, I know you guys are probably like, what the heck, why are you buying another set of Sakura Arch Foam Erasers? But I swear, something about the packaging and just how it was like black with the gold detail on the case, oh my god, I don't know, it just like really got me, okay? <sighs> Daiso just take my money already, okay? Because you're doing a good job with these erasers. Now that so we have escaped the abyss of erasers, we've been led into the pencil lead section, so yeah. That was such a bad pun, I'm really sorry. I don't usually do that, but I don't know what's with me today. Anyway, if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I always use this brand, this exact pencil lead from Daiso, because I don't know, bro. 100 pieces of lead for $1.50, like, okay, okay, die, so take my money. Okay, I had no idea that Daiso sold these, but the Daiso that I went to this time was pretty stacked with a lot of things that I hadn't seen before. <laughs> the erasers. So, yeah. Um, 
This one, kinda a scam because how much is it? It's like $1.50 for only 40 pieces of lead, so probably won't get this again, but I don't know. Just thought I would want to try it out because why not? And now we be moving right along to the pen section. Um, all of the pens that I got were from Muji because I just really like their quality of gel ink pens. Like I think they're really smooth and such. So here I just got some refills for the basic colors black, navy, blue, and red because I like the navy blue color better than the regular blue color. Also, I kind of screwed up because I got the wrong kind of refill because these ones are actually for the clickable pen, I believe, but I was intending to use this for the cap pens, so uh, that's great, everything's fine. You know, just gotta work with what you got. And I told myself I wasn't gonna get any more pens, but, well, what can I say? I saw some colors that I hadn't seen before, so I decided to buy a couple. Also because Muji came out with a new design for their clickable gel ink pens, so I was like, why not? And this yellow one is really nice for um, writing vocab or underlining key terms. Also, I feel like the ink is smoother and dries faster than the old clickable gel ink pen ink, so that's nice. As you can see, the last pen that I got is the same design as the previous pen, except it's in the color gray. When I saw this at the store, I really liked the color for some reason, even though it's just like, you know, just an average gray pen, but I don't know. It's just really nice for writing like subheaders or subtitles in my notes, and I like how it's a little more mild and chill compared to black, so yeah. Would definitely recommend these new Muji pens. Going back to Daiso because I bought some highlighters and y'all know by now that anytime I go to Daiso, I'ma come back with a lot of stuff and obviously more stuff than I need. So here I really just went ham and bought 10 highlighters. This is the first set and you'll see the second set in a second, but basically these ones are pretty popular on the internet. I mean, they're known to be like the mild liner knockoffs, which I can attest is true because I tested them side by side with my practically dead mild liners and the color was like basically the exact same, except they don't have the fine tip at the end, but I don't know, man. A dollar fifty cents for five highlighters versus one mild liner for the same price you tell me This is the last set of highlighters that I bought. It is in the ash set, so the colors are more muted and darker, and rather than being more like fluorescent, like the typical highlighters, these colors resemble more of a marker kind of consistency. However, I do really enjoy how these look and the fact that they look cute just makes me more inclined to use them versus regular markers even though they're pretty similar to regular markers but it's fine.
Yes, I am pretty much capitalism at its finest. I mean, who needs 10 markers, 10 highlighters, you know? I'm just looking at them in my pencil case right now like, what the heck were you thinking, Jennifer? Yay, we're almost done! Lastly, I just picked up two notebooks. This first one is from Muji. It's an A5 dark grey blank page notebook. I had one that was similar to this and I wanted to buy it again because I filled the previous one up. And something about Muji paper is just so satisfying. It's so soft. Also at the store, they let you customize your notebook with stamps after you purchased it so that's what I did. I made like a little cover page and I think that's really cute. Last but not least is this grid line notebook that I got from Kinokunya. It was the only purchase I made at Kinokunya because Kinokunya is super expensive. <laughs> this was literally ten dollars but I swear, when I picked this notebook up, I couldn't put it down because the paper was just so smooth. Like, I'd never seen paper that smooth before. Also, the soft ring binding is really nice because it won't get caught onto other things and it won't fall off like how the cheap um, metal spiral bound notebooks do. So, that's a plus, but it's definitely not worth the price, even though I bought it. And we're done! Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more because I finally got a new editing software. This is Final Cut Pro. I'm using a free trial right now, but I really like it because there's just so many more features compared to iMovie. And it's really motivating me to want to make more videos, so that's good. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day and bye!